Modern issue collectible coins from all the world's mints are now tied to themes on a yearly basis, right? We had the Marine Corps in 05, the Buffalo in 01. This year, we have the Greatest Generation in 24. The World Mints, Mickey, Minnie, Captain America, etc., all tied to anniversaries and flow. But before all the modern stuff, the U.S. Mint, for a number of years, going back to the early part of the 1900s, made special issue 90% silver, half dollars. That ended in the 1950s. But some of the earlier ones, oh, they're special. And tonight, we have one in 66. And it's not just any one in 66. This one is formally known, formally known as the California Pacific International Exposition Half Dollar. Now, the California Pacific International Exposition was held in San Diego in 1936. So the entire industry and everybody thereafter knows it as the 1936 San Diego half dollar. It is a beautiful obverse and reverse combination. We'll get over the details in a minute. Referencing San Diego and the San Diego skyline for the exposition. Again, I'll get to it in a minute. But tonight we're talking about two things. First of all, they made a San Francisco and a Denver coin for this exposition. The San Francisco, they made 70,132, which by all means is a very special and a very rare coin. The Denver is the one that I love talking about because it dwarfs San Francisco with mintage. There are only 30,000 92, so 30092 that were made, that were made back in 1936 at the Denver Mint. Now, I referenced these are certified 66s. Special issues, these special issues from the 19 teens, 20s, and 30s, which is where the majority of them were made. Finding them in 64 and 65 grade is like finding a needle in a haystack. Finding them in 66 is like you won the lottery in coins. And tonight, that lottery is this number. There are 1,258 of them that are known to exist in the world. Now, PCGS has been doing this for 40 years. And that's how many they've certified. Oh, and by the way, all of ours are gorgeous blast white examples like they were struck yesterday. That's special. Now, what does that mean? 1,258? It means there's not that many of them out there. Let's use this as some comparisons for just reference to modern issue I mentioned earlier. Right? In the last decade, three of the most popular coins are the 19S Enhanced Reverse Proof, right? the lowest minted silver eagle of all time, and there's 9,965 as of today in 70. High grade. And that's a $3,500 to $4,000 coin, with not with, because it's under 10,000 known. This nice. Right after that was the 2020 V75, the Privy Mark, victory 75 years later. In 70, there are 16,857. That's a seven to $900 coin. Our favorite from the last couple of years is what happened on May 24th, 2021. They launched a Morgan dollar with a Carson City mint mark again. 175,000 of them were issued, and there are 41,107 known in 70. So about a third ish, closer to 25%. And that one is what? A six seven hundred dollar coin. Time out. Let's get back into our time capsule. Let's go back almost three quarters of a century ago and go to 1936 San Diego. Let's grab one of these beautiful half dollars, use gloves, put it into a special holder, and now fast forward to today. There's only 1,258 of them that existed that way. 
not through the time capsule thing, using it as a reference. Look at the price for my competition on this coin is $4.99 to $5.79. And we're $100 to almost $200 less. So let's talk about the designs, right? In the skyline on the reverse, it shows the observation tower and the state of California building that was at the exposition, as I said. The D mint mark is right above, right below the word trust on the bottom of the coin, kind of like where the Morgan mint mark would be. And a beautiful, beautiful reference. The obverse, right? Seated female, yes, you know, with, with spear and shield, but in the background, California is known as what? The Golden Bear State, it's on their flag. All tied together in a beautiful look and feel. It almost looks more like an English coin than a U.S. coin, the way they tied together Liberty there. She looks more like Britannia, actually, before Britannia was Britannia. Guys, we got to put a 30-second clock up. I'm down to a couple coins left. If you are visiting us via the web, and thank you, avccoins.com, the number one site in the industry. You helped to get there. We thank you. We're going to fight to keep it that way. But it's lots and lots of product and the craziest prices on the planet. But this one tonight is one of those showstoppers. You call up and said, hey, can you get me five or six of these? I'm going to say, how many months do I get? And how much can I charge for all the effort to get through it? Honest questions, right? Well, tonight, all that's off, because we actually have a few in stock, $399.95 for one of the classic vintage 90% silvers, the San Diego. The Denver version, the rare one, with a mintage of only $1,258, and we're still $100 plus less than our competition. This one is just very special. 